You've decided to work in tech. Awesome. But here's the real question. Do you enjoy pain? Because tech is like a buffet. Everything looks great until you actually try something and suddenly you're fighting for your life. You've got choices everywhere. Web development, DevOps, cybersecurity, sysadmin, QA, AI. Picking one feels less like choosing a career and more like spinning a roulette wheel, just hoping you don't land on legacy system maintenance for a bank that still uses Java 6. You might start with web development, thinking it's all about building beautiful animated modern websites. Reality check? It's more like getting stuck in a boss fight with, with CSS, hunting down cross-browser bugs, and spending two hours trying to center a div that refuses to follow the laws of physics. Front-end developers aren't just coders, they're philosophers, asking deep questions like, why does this button work in Chrome but not in Safari? Then there's back-end development. You're thinking, this is it, I'll be the quiet genius writing scalable logic. Until one intern runs a postman loop and brings down the whole database. Maybe you look at DevOps. You want to stay away from front-end drama, but still keep things exciting. Congrats, now you cry because of logs instead of pixels. It sounds cool on your resume. CI, CD, pipelines, automated deployments, cloud infrastructure. But day-to-day, -day, you're writing YAML that looks like forbidden magic and waking up at 3 a.m. because your Kubernetes pod entered a crash loop back off for the fifth time. And yes, your job description says bridging the gap between development and operations. But let's be real. You mostly just bridge the gap between stack overflow and perplexity. What about cybersecurity? You probably imagine yourself in a hoodie, breaking into top secret servers, typing furiously as green code flies across your screen. In reality, you're telling Susan from accounting again that summer 2024 is not a secure password. Your day includes PowerPoints, policy writing, and maybe a pen test once a quarter. And when something does go wrong, everyone's in the meeting pretending not to blame the intern who opened a file called invoice fat final final v2 pdf dot exe. Maybe you're old school. You become a sysadmin. Welcome to root access and no sleep. If something breaks, it's your fault. Uh, if nothing breaks, people think you're not doing anything. You'll master two sacred skills, googling obscure error codes and rebooting stuff while pretending you knew it would work. And yeah, have you tried turning it off and on again? It actually fixes way more than it should. Then there's QA, the guardians of production, the last line of defense between stable apps and full-blown chaos. You catch bugs no one else saw. But when you report them, you're told, it works on my machine. You're not just testing software, you're testing egos and your own patience, especially when your critical bug gets marked as won't fix. Now let's talk about the hot one. AI. Sounds cool, right? You think you'll be building Jarvis solving cancer or creating the next chat GPT. Nope. You're labeling data, cleaning data, begging your model to stop thinking a golden retriever is a fire hydrant. You'll spend hours fine-tuning hyperparameters, listening to your GPU fans scream like jet engines, and when it's finally done training after three days, it performs worse than flipping a coin. And just when you think you've picked your lane, AI comes crashing through the wall like the Kool-Aid man. Oh yeah. Now every job wants AI proficiency. You're a front-end dev, use Copilot. Sysadmin, use an AI dashboard. Writing documentation, that's auto-generated now too. AI isn't a role anymore. It's a layer. It's in your dev tools. It's in your pipelines. It's in your IDE. It's basically glitter. Once it's in, you'll never get rid of it. So yeah, working in tech is exciting, frustrating, rewarding, chaotic. But if you're the kind of person who likes building things, breaking things, and constantly learning, there's honestly nothing else like it.